Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, world without end. Amen. Morning, morning, friends, and welcome to this Holy Eucharist celebration. Let us begin this Holy Eucharist together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us continue to thank the Lord for all the blessings. Let us thank the Lord for our beautiful families, brothers and sisters. Let us also call to mind our sins and shortcomings. Ask the Lord to bless us with His compassionate heart of mercy and love. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who are astray, so that they may return to the right path. Give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the days of Ahaz, king of Judah, son of Jotham, son of Uzziah, Rezin, king of Aram, and Pekah, king of Israel, son of Ramalia, went up to attack Jerusalem, but they were not able to conquer it. When word came to the house of David that Aram was encamped in Ephraim, the heart of the king and the heart of the people trembled as the trees of the forest tremble in the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to meet Ahaz, you and your son Sh uh, Shir Jashub, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool, on the highway of the fuller's field, and say to him, Take care you remain tranquil, and do not fear. Let not your courage fail before these two stumps of mo smoldering brands the blazing anger of Rezin and Arameans, and the son of Ramalia, because of the mischief that Aram, Ephraim, and the son of Ramalia plots against you, saying, Let us go up and tear Judah asunder, make it our own by force, and appoint the son of Tabil king there. Thus says the Lord, This shall not stand, it shall not be, Damascus is the capital of Aram, and Rezin is the head of Damascus. Samaria is the capital of Ephraim, and Ramalia's son the head of Samaria. But within sixty years and five, Ephraim shall be crushed, no longer a nation. Unless your faith is firm, you shall not be firm. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God upholds his city forever. God was his city forever. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, the fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. God upholds his city forever. 
Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with her castles. Renowned is he as a stronghold. God upholds his city forever. For lo, the kings assemble, they come on together. They also see and at once are stunned, terrified, routed. God upholds his city forever. Quaking seizes them there, anguish like a woman's in labor. And though a wind from the east were sh as though a wind from the east were shattering ships of Tarshish. God upholds his city forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done since they had not repented. What to you, cross and what to you, Bethsaida? For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the way of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the nether world. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your reflections for our prayer and meditation today, my dear friends. We have experienced in our daily life when we become sad, when we become disappointed, someone will be there to support us. Someone will be there to give us a beautiful a suggestion or encouragement, a great loving support with which we will re-energize our life and will continue to move on, continue to move on. It's the same thing, there's a sort of friendship can be seen between Isaiah and Ahaz, the king of Judah. See how he comes and tells him, be strong, be strong in your faith, be strong. And Damascus may fall, Ephraim may fall, uh, any, many cities can be fallen, but you stand firm. You stand strong in your faith. The question for us to reflect in the moments of difficulties, of course, without my telling you, you know, what are the main uh, physical um, difficulties that we face from the world and also disturbances and frustration that, that is within us. Thinking about the future, sometimes we get these uh, frustrations and thinking about the now the uh, situation is going and the parents are thinking of the, of the future, the education of the children and some are for reopening the school and some are not. And some are really trying hard to educate their children for, the for their betterment. Uh, in the future through online. So there are some kind of external frustrations are going on, but what we have to uh, do is that like a prophet Isaiah tells to us in the moments of difficulties, uh, str be strong, be strong in faith and experience the tranquility within each one of us. But many times I am, I am asked and I also ask this question, 
how we can achieve this tranquility in the midst of chaotic situations. Yeah, I used to wonder how Mama Mary was keeping silent in the moments of all the disappointed situations. And how the people can, how our parents became so strong when they were taking care of us, though they did not have much of the things that we have at present. So they still took care of us, uh, smiled at us every day, because they always uh, stood and remained at the foot of the, our Holy Cross, uh, the crucifix that we can see on the altar. As we kneel and sit before the uh, feet of the Lord, as Mary did, uh, sitting at the feet of the Lord, we can receive that strong faith. And I'm sure as we continue to pray, the Holy Scripture will always give us uh, more uh, strength, advising us, suggesting us more soon. And I'm sure our praying of our rosary will always help us to understand the great mysteries, the passion that our Lord Jesus Christ went through and the whole Paschal mystery we can understand. I'm sure by praying the divine mercy, we can understand how graceful the mercy of the Lord. Let us continue to uh, do all our mm, little works of devotion, little works of mercy and compassion. Let us fulfill our day with prayer and reading of the scripture. And I am sure I will not go to the uh, gospel today because we have sufficient reflections today from the first reading and uh, it will help us to remain firm in faith and strong uh, in attaining the great peace that we can have. As Jesus always greeted uh, to the disciples after the resurrection, peace be with you. So today, Jesus, as we look into Je at the Jesus on the cross, Jesus is telling us, everything may happen, but I am with you until the end of the days. And be strong. Let us experience the tranquility, the peace, the harmony at home and within all our hearts. Let us all bring all our prayers and petitions. Trusting in the Lord's promises, we now offer our petitions to him. That through the... That the Lord may guide all who hold public office and all who assist them and carry out their policies, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all nations and peoples living with the effects of war may soon experience peace and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That everyone in this faith community, through our witnessing of the mighty deeds of God, may receive the grace we need to place our trust in him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us in faith, that they may live forever in God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And especially for the John family, for whose intention we offer this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the special intentions which we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, when two or more gather in your name, you have promised to be there. Hear the answer of the prayers we offer today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you through the earth and work of the human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you through the wine work of the human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With the humble spirit and content of access to the Wash away my iniquities and cleanse me. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and the glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you. Grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since your praises add nothing to your greatness, Put profit us for our salvation through Christ our Lord, and so in company with the cause of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are full of your, your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are Indeed, holy, O Lord, in the found, the found of all holiness, make holy. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, when once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministry. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and George, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, with St. Angela Marici, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you who set the apostles of peace, I give you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us offer each other sign of peace. Peace be with you, Father. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only you say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Having conceived these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in the mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Let us pray one Hail Mary for the protection of our loving children and our family. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary full, full of grace, grace. the Lord, Lord is with, with you. you. Blessed Lord are you among women, women. and blessed is the fruit of God your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen.